Hey guys, today we're going to be opening up some Evolving Skies booster packs. We have three boxes in front of us. I'm going to let you guys choose which box we open. Let me know in the chat if you want to open up the left, middle, or the right box. Whichever one has the most votes is the one we're going to open. First thing I want to do is I want to show you guys some of the more valuable cards from this box. Um, what we're going to be chasing from this Evolving Skies booster box is the Umbreon VMAX Alt Art, sitting over $300 for the market price of the Umbreon VMAX Alt Art. How crazy is that? We have the really, really nice Rayquaza VMAX. All of the Evolution VMAXs have gone up in price considerably. All of the Alt Arts as well have gone up quite a bit. It's a very, very, very good set, and that's why it's so expensive. Evolving Skies is so expensive because it's just an amazing set. Just such a good set. All right, let me know in the chat which box you guys want to open up today. How's everybody doing? Jacob, Jackson, how are you guys doing? Glad to see you. Scotty, Mr. Score Bunny, glad to see you guys. Well, let me know which box you guys want to open up. And that's the box we're going to open. Right has always been the bad one. Center, we got one vote for right, one vote for center. We got two votes for middle. Got one vote for left. All right, we're going to do a tiebreaker. Which box is it going to be? I'm doing really, really good, man. Glad to have everybody here. Go with the middle. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. My Wi-Fi is being awful crazy today. All right, looks like we had the most... Yeah, rest in peace, right? Sorry for that, guys. Uh, looks like we have the most votes for the left side. So let's go ahead and let's do the left side box here. As always, we put everybody's name onto envelopes to make it as random as possible on when your packs are going to come. We have 36 people on each of these envelopes here today. We'll mix them up a little bit more. I do mix them up beforehand as well. We got Jacob B. Looks like he's going to be the first person we're going to do this left side box. This left side box is actually really, really clean. If I was going to display one of these boxes, it would have definitely would have been this one. It's been a it's been a rough uh, a rough go today. The Wi-Fi has just been really, really, really unreliable, and I do not have my pack opening device handy. With all the uh, crazy craziness going on, I completely forgot to grab my uh, pair of scissors. So we're going to use this pin to open up our booster box today. <laughs> oh, that's not going to be a, a keeper right there. Destroy the booster box, but that's okay. The stuff on the inside is just fine. I'm so excited to get into this. Evolving Skies is such an amazing set. Booster boxes are pushing $200. There's a few listings for Evolving Skies around $170, $180, but there's very, very low inventory on those. And as soon as those are gone, the lowest price is going to be $200. And those $200 listings are popping up more and more as those other ones disappear off the market really really excited for this we're gonna be starting off with jacob b let's see what we can get for jacob b today best of luck to you my friend jacob b demolition man long time community member we do give away all of the code cards in every single one of my videos live videos pre-recorded videos just hanging out all the code cards go to you guys so if you guys ever want some code cards make sure you come hang out in the chat we got the Ribbon Badge, as well as Sableye. If you're new to the channel, we do giveaways in most of my videos, my pre-recorded videos. So if you've entered any of those giveaways, you can look down below in the description of the live stream every single Friday. And you can see if you were chosen as the winner of any of the giveaways. If you guys are chosen as the winner of any of the giveaways, make sure you reach out to me on Discord, Instagram, or email. You can find all of those links on the my YouTube homepage and down in the description as well. We actually, looks like we got a couple packs here for Jacob. May have to mix these packs up a little bit more. Looks like we got quite a few for Jacob coming up. Code card there for you guys. Best of luck to whoever can redeem those. Evolving Skies has so many good cards on the inside of it. 
That's why the box price is just going absolutely crazy. If box prices were still close to $100, you could probably make a profit just opening up every single one of them. That's how crazy good this set is. I feel like there's been a whole lot of buyouts. Very nice Galarian Zapdos. Really, really enjoy the Galarian birds inside of this set. That was a white and green code card there for Jacob. Got our first hit of the night. Nothing too crazy, though. Let's get this bulk out of the way. Find it a new home. I'm going to mix up these envelopes a little bit more. Looks like we... We don't want to see Jacob the entire time, do we, guys? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm missing the... Uh, I was missing everything today. The booster box opener, the good Wi-Fi. Everything was a mess today. <laughs> but here we are. We're going we're gonna to get this box open. A lot of fun to open this box. I did sell packs at my original cost. I originally picked these booster boxes up for under $100. And I actually sold the packs at that price versus the new market price. The packs were under $4 a piece. If you were to buy them at market price, they would be over $6 right now. Can you believe that Evolving Skies booster packs are on average about $6 right now? It's absolutely insanity. We got Stacy coming up. Everybody wish Stacy the best of luck. See what we can get here. We got the Fire Energy. We got Gold Duck. We got the really nice Boost Shake. We got the Woobat. Eevee. We got the Tim Pole. Cutie Fly. Reverse Holographic Applin. And the Non Holographic Feeble. I feel like that's the second time we've seen that already. Yep, Stacy bought in, Jimmy bought in, so more than likely one of those two is going to get the really, really good hit out of this box. That's just kind of how it works. <laughs> Let's, uh, these, uh, didn't get mixed up very well. Let's do Chin. First time Chin's bought in in a while. Long time community member, buys in randomly. Really, really appreciate you being a part of the community, Chin. We all need some Stacy luck. Stacy luck is basically what you need whenever you're opening up Pokemon cards. Every time Stacy opens up Pokemon cards, she gets the absolute best hits. I think from Chilling Rain, she's on, she has four gold Snorlax pulls, which is just shows you how crazy her luck is. <laughs> you actually needed the reverse Applin. That is awesome. Glad we could get that for you. We got the Dwebble, we got the Rufflet, Rug and Rulla, Wobbuffet, reverse holographic temple. Can we get an ultra rare above? No, we cannot. We got a Gigliff for Chin. All right, let's see if we can get this box going. Get it a little warmer. Right now, this box has been pretty cold to us. Let's go with the Sylveon pack art. Actually, it looks like we're going with the Umbreon pack art here for Keaton. Everybody wish Keaton me best of luck. Next week, we're going to do some Brilliant Stars. Um, next week, we will also be doing a $69 booster box of Evolving Skies. If you're unfamiliar with the $69 booster box series, I do list in the Discord community uh, booster boxes randomly for sale for $69 and you guys are able to pick those up at that $69 price right now that that would be close to $120 savings on evolving skies so that's a really really good deal and most of the time everybody who buys those boxes ends up making a profit off of the cards we pull there's been a few times where we have not made a profit but it's very very rare especially with a good set like evolving skies we got another pack coming up here for Keaton. We got a whole bunch of packs coming up here for Keaton. I did mix these envelopes up, so we're just gonna roll with it and go with whoever's next. Desmond Fitzpatrick, woohoo! <laughs> Member for nine months. That's awesome, man. I definitely appreciate all the support. I love hanging out with you guys. I don't do do this as a job. I don't make money doing this. Just being honest, I honestly lose money every time I do this because I sell the packs so cheap. I could easily sell these on eBay. Um, as sealed boxes for way more than what I charge for the single packs But it's just so much fun having you guys here as the community hanging out opening up cards That's the third feeble card out of like four packs that we've opened up so far. That is insanity Austin what's going on, buddy? Glad to see you here. Hope you're having a fantastic start to your weekend It is actually Easter weekend. Hope everybody's gonna have some chocolate bunnies have some fun on their Easter egg hunts Especially if you have kiddos kiddos love Easter egg hunts all of my kiddos are super excited for this Easter hunt coming up. Normally, we put money inside of the eggs. That's why they get so excited. But the candy is not too bad either. <laughs> we got the Palpatone. Litleo. Lotad. Lotad is actually a really, really powerful card. If you can get that evolved into the Ludicolo, it'll increase your damage by 100 for that turn, which can really, really help in the competitive game. All right. We got Keaton coming up again. Let's find somebody else here. Let's do Jimmy. Jimmy, you're coming up, buddy. All right, we got Jimmy coming up. Everybody wish Jimmy the best of luck. Thievel is stealing all the hits. You're right. Thievel is stealing all the hits. Code card there for you guys. Best of luck to whoever can redeem that. Let's see if we can get 
our first hit here. We haven't gotten a single ultra rare hit. So whoever picked the left side box, we're going to blame you if we don't get any good hits. Shopping Center, Palpatone, we got the Herdier, Hopip, Swablu, Zorua. That's actually, this has actually been a good pack. All these cards are really strong. Moon and Sun Badge and the Altaria. That's a really, really cool reverse holographic card. It's really cool how they made the uh, Evolution cards not only really nice for collectors, but they also made them very playable. The Leafy on VMAX especially is really, really playable. Sylveon VMAX is pretty strong as well. The Umbreon VMAX has a really good abil ability. That's basically a boss's orders whenever you evolve it. So that's seen a lot of play as well. Code card there for you guys. Let's see if we can get our first ultra rare hit here for Keaton. It's been a pretty, pretty cold box so far. Let's see if we can get that Umbreon VMAX here for Keaton. If anybody gets it, it's probably going to be Jimmy or Stacy, but let's see if we can get it for Keaton right now. We got the Lit Leo, Reverse Holographic, Kamoya, Drampaw. That's such a good looking card. And the Jump Pluff Holographic Rare. I really, really appreciate the subscription, man. Electro and Rexo. That, that's a pretty cool name, man. All right. We've got another pack for Keaton coming up. If you guys want to pick up packs, I do post them on my website. Next week, I would really, really like to do our box of XY Fates Collide. It's been up on the website for about a month. It's really close to selling out, but we're not quite there yet. If we do not sell out the XY Fates Collide box, I'll probably throw up a box of Brilliant Stars, just because we all know that Brilliant Stars and Evolving Skies will sell out, especially at the low, low prices that I sell them at. We've got a pack here for Keaton, though. Let's see if we can get our first Ultra Rare hit. Another Reverse Holographic Moon and Sun Badge. Can we get our first Ultra Rare hit? It looks like we are going to get the Espeon VMAX. Our first Ultra Rare hit from the box. Really, really awesome that we could get an, e an Evolution as our first hit. Such a good looking card. This is not the most powerful card, but it is a very, very collectible card. Let me move that light just a little bit. Very, very nice hit there for Keaton. That's really our only pull of the night so far there for Keaton. It's been kind of a cold box. Hopefully we can continue this good luck. See if we can get us an alt art, rainbow rare, a couple full arts. That would be that would be pretty amazing. All right, let's go ahead and pack Keaton up. Let's move on to the next person. We should do Time Gazer and Space Juggler. I do have Time Gazer and Space Juggler ordered. I do not know when they're going to arrive, though. I do have a tracking number for them. They have shipped, but it could be two days or it could be two weeks before they actually show up. If they get stuck in customs... That could be pretty rough. But if those do come in, I will definitely throw those up because that'll be a whole lot of fun. The Dialga and Palkia cards from those sets are just really, really cool. So that would be a whole lot of fun to open. Full face guard. We got the Hypno, Chin Chow. We got Dino, Pumpkaboo, Gosefleur, Reverse Holographic, Carvana, and another Altaria. One hit out of the first quarter of our box. Been kind of rough, which should mean that we have a really really good rest of the box that's what i'm hoping for Let's see what we can get for keaton here how's everybody doing tonight agree with jackson yeah i i completely agree we should definitely do space juggler and uh, time gazer when they actually arrive <laughs> all right we got the metal energy we got the digging gloves palpitoad got the really nice crustle daddy ursa how's everybody doing today Really hope everybody's having a great start to their weekend. Reverse Holographic Bagon. And the Secret Rare Darkness Energy going to Keaton. That is such a good looking card. Really, really nice hit there. So basically all the hits are going to be going to Keaton, it looks like. Back-to-back -back hits there for Keaton. Congratulations on that, my friend. Last time I checked, this card was selling for right around $15. It's not the most valuable card. There is a lot of different versions of the Darkness Secret Energy like this. And this is not the most popular one, but it still is a very, very nice card there for Keaton. I really, really enjoy the gold energies. I think they just look really, really nice. They're a lot of fun to put, put inside of your decks. If you can afford to fill up your whole deck with gold energies, makes you look real cool, doesn't it, guys? Makes you look real, real cool. <laughs> gold, they're, they're just awesome. I really like gold cards in general. And as soon as gold cards rotate out of standard format, they become really, really inexpensive, and you can actually make a full set of gold cards with very, very little money. All right, we got the Water Energy, we got the Lucky Ice Pop, we got the Bravery, really nice Nicket, we got the Dwebble, Rufflet, Rock and Roller, we got the Reverse Holographic Eevee. That's actually a very, very nice Eevee there, and we have the Volcarona V. Look how off-centered that card is. 
Quality control for Pokemon at its finest right there. Am I right, guys? All right, let's see what else we can get here. That's our third hit out of this box. Normal pull rates is between 8 and 12 for booster boxes. So the rest of this box should be pretty loaded. Hopefully with an alt art, that would be the best case scenario. You actually needed both of those cards. That's awesome. Glad we could get those for your master set. Let's see what else we can get here. Next week, we'll be doing Space Juggler and Time Gazer. If they come in, if they do not come in, we'll try and do the XY Fates Collide box that's been up for a while. And let's just hope that that sells out. I think there's about 10 packs or so left of that. Could be a few more. Got the Scrafty, Zorua, got the Psyduck, Rufflet, Reverse Holographic Dino. What do we got behind it? We have the Wishy Washy. Keaton, your luck is up and down. It's crazy, man. This was the left side box. That's the one that had the most votes that I saw. Let me, uh, let me fix this real quick. My face camera is a little bit too big. All right. We've got a pack coming up for Stacy. Got a couple packs coming up for Stacy. Everybody wish Stacy the best of luck. Let's see what we can get here. All right. Can we get the alt art for Stacy? If anybody's going to get it, it's going to be Stacy, right, guys? We've got the fire energy here. We've got the treasure energy. Ribbon badge. We've got the Dynamotor Flappy. That's actually like a dollar regular uncommon card. Really, really popular card to play in ele electric type decks. Got the reverse holographic Scraggy and the Gore Guys. Nothing too crazy there for Stacy. <clears throat> Let's see what else we can get here. Got about half the box left. Pack coming up for Stacy. After Stacy, we do have Chin. You're waiting for the Evolving Skies reprint. That is why boxes being closing in on $200 is so crazy. There is a 100% chance that the Pokemon company is going to reprint Evolving Skies. There's no shot that there's not going to be more product printed for Evolving Skies. There's going to be booster boxes. There's probably going to be you know collection boxes and other things printed as well because it is such a popular set. And Pokemon really, really does like to capitalize on that demand and collect that profit for themselves. Really nice Drampa there for Stacy. Dragon, what's going on, buddy? Glad to have you here. Hope you're having a fantastic start to your weekend. We got Chin coming up with the next pack. We got Sylveon pack art here. Pack art for Evolving Skies is actually really, really good as well. Normally, English pack art isn't the greatest, but honestly, this is really, really nice. I really like the Evolutions, especially the Umbreon there. The Sylveon are very nice. The only one that's not that great is the Duraludon. Honestly, it's just not that great. All right, we got the Psychic Energy. We got the Vigoroth. So if you're patient and wait long enough for them to do the reprint on Evolving Skies, you could probably save yourself quite a bit of money because normally after a reprint, single prices will come down quite a bit along with the actual price of the box just because there'll be more product available. All right, let's see what we can get. I, I picked up these Evolving Skies boxes for under $100. And right now, you know, I've actually been selling quite a few of them because I know there's going to be a reprint and I know I'll be able to buy back in. And I've just been taking that extra money and buying other stuff for fun. If you want to if you want to hear more about that, you could definitely check out my buy and sell, you know, playlist on my pre-recorded videos. Talk a lot about, you know, what I'm buying, what I'm selling, what I'm doing in the market. Not really a... I guess it would be investment type videos, but I'm just a guy who likes shiny cardboard, so don't ever take me too seriously. All right, let's see what else we can get here for Chin. We got a couple packs coming up for Chin here. Still looking for that alt art or a full art card. We do have one secret rare and one VMAX and one V card. We've only got three hits so far out of this entire box. So unless the rest of this box is just completely loaded, we may not have picked a very good one. Let's be honest. Four to five years, do you think Evolving Skies will be a $500 plus box? I think that out of every single Sword and Shield box, Brilliant Stars, believe it or not, I think Brilliant Stars has the most upside. I think that Evolving Skies has the second most upside. The reason why that I think Evolving Skies has the second most upside is because... There's no Charizard. And as we all know, Charizard is really the lifeblood of the, you know, currency. Really nice full art Volcarona. Oh, it's every single time when I'm just talking is whenever we get these crazy, crazy hits. I really think that Brilliant Stars has the most upside, especially at its current price. You can buy uh, Brilliant Stars for like $110 a box right now versus buying Evolving Skies for close to 200 
and the fact that it has Charizard cards versus EV Lucians is just a bonus. But I could easily see in it being similar to Sun and Moon sets and right around $350 to $400 in the next four years or so and just continuing to go up as time goes along. There's really, really no downside to Evolving Skies. If you bought your boxes right now for $200 in five years, you would not be unhappy. You would be happy you had those boxes at that price whenever they're $350, $400, $500. It definitely, definitely happened. I still think Brilliant Stars has the most upside just because of the Charizard aspect. It does have really good alt arts. It's actually a really, really player-friendly set as well, so I think a lot of the boxes are going to be open. Arceus V and Arceus V-Star, with how playable they are, make the boxes actually profitable to open. If you pull a bunch of Arceus cards and, you know, like double turbo energies and all the really playable cards, you can make quite a bit of money just opening up Brilliant Star's boxes. Whereas if you open up Evolving Skies boxes, there's really only a few really high-end chase cards that are worth pulling. And if you don't get one of those Altar, you know, Evolutions, you're kind of, you're kind of sunk. All right. With there being so many more playable cards in Brilliant Stars, in my opinion, that just means more of these those boxes will be opened long term. Got the Moon and Sun badge. We got Pyroar. We got the Vigoroth. Woobat. Got the really nice Eevee. This is one of my favorite cards from the whole set. Got the Rayquaza back there. Got Tallgrass throwing in codes in the chat. Make sure you guys check out his website. He always has really the best deals on cards. If you guys ever want to pick stuff up for probably the lowest price you're going to find, Always check Tallgrass cards. He's always having really good sales and really, really nice member of the community. So if you want to help support, you know, small local game store type people, he would be your guy. All right, we got Jacob B coming up. Everybody wish Jacob the best of luck. Really, really appreciate the codes, Tallgrass. Most people are uh, going back to Pokemon Trading Card Game Online, which is kind of funny because you have these, uh, these code cards. All the new code cards say Pokemon Trading Card Game Live but it's really not even available. It's still only available in certain parts of Canada, and that's if you're lucky. There's a lot of people who are in Canada who still can't even do the beta for Pokemon Live, and with how bad of a acceptance it's had, with all the glitches, with everybody just being super unhappy with it, they may have to just end up scrapping the entire game, which is crazy. We got the Rufflet, and we have the Jolteon VMAX. This is one of my favorite decks to play. Jolteon VMAX is actually selling for like $15 or so. Um, there's actually a really, really nice Jolteon VMAX collection box that has an alt art of this VMAX card. And super, super valuable, super playable card. Does 100 damage to your opponent's active and 100 damage to their bench, which can put a lot of pressure. This actually might be the most valuable card we've pulled out of this entire box, which is absolutely crazy. Congratulations to Jacob on that. Jacob, I might actually offer to buy that from you for market price for one of my decks. I do need two more Jolteon VMAX to actually make a physical deck of that. If you want to sell it. If you don't, that's, you know, that's way... That, that is... I can't talk today. I'm just going to call it a day, right, guys? Take a nap. <laughs> All right, we got Jacob coming up. Once again, we got a couple packs here for Jacob. Let's see if we can get him something else. We got two VMAX, one Full Art, one Secret Rare, and one V card. So the odds are if we pull an Alt Art, it's going to be an Alt Art V card. We got another white code card here for Jacob. Let's see if we can continue his awesome, awesome luck. It's a very, very beautiful card. What do I think has more upside? For example, $10,000 jungle box. I, we actually talked about this in Discord last night about how I would rather buy $10,000 worth of a box like Chilling Rain than I would like to buy $10,000 boxes of jungle. So I have a jungle first edition box somewhere back over here. And they're right around $10,000. And honestly, if somebody offered to trade that to me, if somebody traded to me the equivalent value of that box for any modern set, I would probably take that deal. And the nice holographic Dialga. I honestly think there's just more upside with, you know, bulk product versus just having one item. So that $10,000 box, if it goes up to $11,000, you know, that's only a 10% increase. If a Chilling Rain box goes from $80 to $200, you know, that's a huge, huge difference in percentage and much, much more valuable and safe. That's the key word there, safe. Hold, in my opinion. Yeah, if anybody wants to trade, I would definitely do it. I would definitely trade my first edition jungle box back there for equivalent value of modern boxes. That's just, 
there's just no chance that you're ever going to go backwards on a deal like that unless for some reason jungle boxes skyrocketed to like fifty thousand dollars which is super unlikely it's just you're going to come out ahead on the other products what do we got back here we have the medicham v really really nice card there jacob you've had three really really good hits in a row here let me grab some more sleeves um really honestly the best price for brilliant stars booster boxes right now is either ebay uh, really ebay has the best prices especially if you can wait for an ebay bucks promotion and use your credit card rewards you that's honestly the best way to buy brilliant stars right now all right let's go ahead and pack up jacob here and let's move on to the next person crazy craziness right there four white and green code cards for jacob in a row all right, we got Michael Z coming up. Everybody wish Michael the best of luck. Like even a box like this, like for instance, th this box right here, this is a Spanish heart gold and soul silver box. I would rather buy this box than a jungle box. Jungle, it was just so overly printed that I just don't see it having any long-term, you know, awesome financial investability, anything like that. I see so many other products doing so much better even in different languages. All right, we got Michael Z coming up. Code card there for you guys. Let's see what we can get from Michael. If you guys want to check out Mudkip's Revenge, make sure you check out his YouTube channel. I think he also has an Instagram page. Posts a lot of really, really cool cards. Has a very, very nice collection. We got the Gordy, Gordy Gang. Where are you guys at? Where's the Gordy Gang at? Trying to keep up with the chat here. Wizards of the Coast is... <laughs> Wizards of the Coast is nice. But honestly, if I had to make like a top five list of the worst booster boxes of all time i think jungle and fossil would honestly be in the top five of the worst boxes of all time not only were they super overprinted they're super small sets so it's extremely easy to pull everything from similar to how celebrations is and there's just so many of the boxes that there's just no high-end value in my opinion i know that they're getting to be super old and that people think that since they came out at the same time as say base set that they're worth a ton of money, but I just don't see it, guys. I just don't see why jungle and fossil boxes sell for so much. I would never spend $10,000 on a first edition jungle box. I bought my box for $300, if that tells you anything. And even then, I felt like I was almost getting ripped off. And we have the Trevenant VMAX. That's our third VMAX from this box. Really, really good box so far, guys. All the hits have been kind of in the back end, though. No, I'm not saying Celebrations is bad. I actually have more celebrations than any other modern product celebrations is so much fun to open that it's just going to hold long-term value regardless jungle and fossil aren't that fun to open if you guys have ever opened a jungle and fossil pack they're really really not that fun to open all right we have michael coming up everybody wish michael the best of luck but that's just my personal opinion like i said if you love jungle and fossil you know don't don't listen to me i'm just a guy who likes shiny cardboard Code card there for you guys. Best of luck to whoever can redeem that. Let's see what we can get from Michael here. Yeah, people buying into jungle and fossil box breaks are basically getting scammed. You can get, you know, 90% of the hits and you lose money. That's 100% true. If you buy into a box break of jungle and fossil for $150 to $200, there is 99.9999% chance you're going to lose all of your money. Even if you grade all the cards and they all come back at PSA 10, you're just gonna lose all your money. Obviously, sometimes it's just more about the experience and having fun, kind of like what we do here. I, I sell my packs super cheap just so we can all have some fun. I know that Evolving Skies is selling for like six, seven dollars a pack. So I sell mine for under four dollars with free shipping just so we can all have some fun. Uh, if I, if it's worth 10,000, I got it for 300, why am I keeping it? I'm keeping it because it's a fun memory. So whenever like I have friends over or anybody sees it in my background, they're like, holy smokes, you have a first edition jungle booster box. And then I could tell them the story about how I found it for $300. It's just a good conversation piece. And really it's not even the most valuable thing in my collection. It's just a really good memory for me. And that's what this is all about. It's all about having fun. Really nice Sharpedo there. If I was just trying to make money, I probably wouldn't be on YouTube. Because <laughs> honestly, I lose money on every single thing I do on YouTube. All right, we got Jimmy coming up. Everybody wish Jimmy the best of luck. Not that he needs it, but let's see if we can get Jimmy an awesome alt art here. Still holding out hope for a really nice alt art V card. Best value vintage unlimited box to break. Honestly, I think that the best vintage box, period. Even better than, you know, uh, it's debatable. But in my opinion, 
anything Neo related, Neo Revelation, Neo Destiny, any Neo era boxes, I think they're super undervalued just because of how low the print run print run is and how awesome the sets are. There's so many awesome sets. Really nice Waba fit there. And another V card. We got the Espeon V to go with our Espeon V Max. But uh, if you guys want to talk more about, you know, what I'm buying, what I'm selling, what I'm investing in, if you have questions or anything like that, I'm actually going to be doing a live stream tomorrow with uh, Northwoods TCG. So if you guys want to come hang out, ask questions, or if you guys want to ask questions in Discord to be answered tomorrow during the live stream, you could definitely do that. It's the first time I've ever done a podcast uh, style live stream, and we'll be doing that over on his channel. So if you guys want to come hang out, I'll be more than happy to answer all of your questions whenever I'm actually able to keep up with the chat would you love to do more videos like what am i buying january 2022 yeah that's definitely one of my most popular videos i've actually decided that i'm going to shorten those videos because what i used to do is monthly i would just basically show you guys every single thing i was buying and the videos would be 45 minutes to an hour long so instead of doing it that way i'm i've broken it down to you know right around three to five buy and sell items per video which keeps the videos around eight to ten minutes long it's a little bit easier for you guys to watch, and it's a little bit easier for me to make. Really nice holographic Zygarde there. It makes it so I don't have to uh, unpack all the stuff I'm buying all month <laughs> for one video. It gets kind of wild. If you guys have watched that video, there's a lot of stuff. Sell booster boxes by the case or individual boxes. If you sell by the case, it's much, much easier to ship. And honestly, whenever you buy a case, it's just safer in general, especially if it's all sealed up. I know obviously you can get G.I. Joe cards inside of your sealed cases, but for the most part, you're never going to have that sort of problem. All right, we got the Grass Energy. Got the Bulldor, Skip Loom, Legender, Temple, Psyduck. Really nice Eevee. Probably the coolest looking card in the whole set, in my opinion, outside of the Altar V Maxes for the Eevee Lucians. All right, got a couple packs left here, guys. I will be doing, like I said, that live stream tomorrow morning with Northwoods TCG. Really, really good guy. So if you have questions or anything like that you want answered, feel free to hop in and I'll be able to keep track of the chat a little bit better and answer all of your questions. Yep, you're 100, Ryan, you are 100% right. The uh, YouTube algorithm really, really enjoys the retention of the shorter videos and it actually promotes the videos. I actually have 10 times as many views on, like based on the amount of time that video has been up versus those longer videos i was doing monthly all right and the non-holographic drampa really hoping we still have an alt art inside of this box jacob what's going on buddy glad to have you here we got jacob b and jacob m in the house jacob b you got all sorts of crazy hits you're gonna have to go back and watch man it was it's pretty crazy what you got you got four white code cards in a row all right let's see what we can get for desmond here another long time community member i do ship these worldwide as long as i'm able to there is a small fee for international shipping, but normally the price plus the price of the pack plus the international shipping is much, much lower than what you can actually find packs for in your own countries, which is kind of awesome for people, especially people who live over in Europe. Gazinia's Resolve and the Appleton. I do try and recoup as much money as I possibly can with you with the YouTube videos I make. I do make them for fun, but if I can make 10 of the buy and sell videos versus just one i think it's gonna do a lot better for the youtube channel in the long term which will allow me to do cooler stuff for you guys better box openings you know if i ever get to the point where i can start doing you know four five six hundred dollar booster boxes for you guys for free i'm gonna do it because it's just so much fun like that is my ultimate goal my ultimate goal with this youtube channel is to be able to go back to sun and moon xy era black and white era pick up those really expensive boxes for you guys and just give them to you guys. Just pick a random community member and say, this is your box and just have fun with it. That would That is my ultimate goal. And if we ever get there, it's gonna be absolutely amazing. It's all about the journey, guys. It's all about having fun with the community. We got Desmond coming up. We got two packs left here. Let's see what we can get out of our last two packs. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, community members in Discord. We have close to a thousand members in the Discord community. So probably the best Pokemon di Discord community. I can't talk today, guys. I keep stuttering. It's probably the best Pokemon Discord community that I've ever seen. I don't harass you guys. I don't tag you guys for videos or to buy stuff. It's really just a place for everybody to hang out and have fun. 
So if you're looking for a really not nice community that there's no pressure to buy anything or to do anything other than just hang out and, you know, talk about cards, talk about what you're doing, talk about life. If you want to talk about life, I'll talk about life with you. All right, we got Stacy coming up. Last pack, guys. Is there an Altart V in this last pack? Yeah, the, bu the budget challenge videos are my absolute favorite. Honestly, as soon as I'm done with today's live stream, I'm going to be doing the next bu budget challenge video. And uh, I got some pretty epic stuff here for the for the budget challenges. I'm going to show you guys some of the cards that are going to be in the next upcoming budget challenges. So the, if you can imagine, if you've watched my budget challenges before, I always give away the cards in my bud. I can't talk. I cannot talk today. <sighs> Crazy. Yeah, Dragon, I'm probably the only person who willingly loses money on their openings <laughs> but with all my budget challenge videos i always give away the cards in the bu budget challenge so if you can take a look at all these cards even that shiny noctowl these are all going to be in future budget challenges and if you want to uh, have a chance at winning some of those awesome cards make sure you guys uh subscribe to the channel like the videos that way they get pushed out to more people that way more people have a chance at those awesome cards all right, guys, last pack magic, and then I can just go to sleep because I cannot speak today. My brain is fried. Absolutely fried. <laughs> we got the Floet. We got Bulldor. We got the Drowsy. got Scraggy. Tomorrow, after the live stream, there will be a really, really cool video of our first retail break of a really old collector's GX box. It's another thing we do for the community. We sell older boxes at retail price, you know, $50, $100 boxes at retail price just for some fun. Also, put all those up in the Discord community. So if you want a shot at those, make sure you hop into the Discord community. Next week, we're going to be doing Time Gazer and Space Juggler. If they come in, if they don't come in, we're going to do XY Fates Collide. The XY Fates Collide packs are already available on the website if you would like to pick those up. I do really, really appreciate every single one of you for being here. This was a lot of fun. Evolving Skies is an amazing set. It's going to $200. It's absolutely crazy. I wouldn't recommend buying it $200 strictly because... The box we just opened is probably worth close to 70 So there's a good chance you're going to lose a lot of money if you're opening up boxes at $200. It's just such a good set with so many awesome chase cards in it. It's definitely, definitely worth the money in my opinion. I hope to see you guys tomorrow morning for the uh, market talk with Northwoods TCG. And I'll see you in the next one.